Hey everyone, today we are working on part one of the kitchen makeover in the fixer upper. A couple new windows. I got a sink, which I'm super excited about. Don't have a countertop yet, but we'll get there. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got for the kitchen because I'm so excited. This sink has a strainer that's on it and then also a cutting board. Um, I went to Lowe's and Home Depot, looked at the countertop options, and they're kind of still pricey there. So uh, I went to an uh, actual um, countertop place and they were a little bit cheaper surprisingly so you'll have to stay tuned to see what we end up picking out but I think I'm gonna go dark and because of that I really am drawn to this beautiful green tile I know it's drastic but I really like it here is the kitchen area that we are going to be creating this fix wrapper did not really have a full kitchen it just had a stove and a microwave that's it so we are creating the kitchen and last time you saw me we were in the bathroom putting in the bathroom flooring well this is the other side of that wall which we had to create we had to create all these different spaces because it's basically just mushed into one it was ridiculous so i am adding the insulation here on the walls just to help a little bit with the sound and you can see the bathtub there on the right and that came from lowe's which love that bathtub um, it's really nice because it has a um, subway tile look to it even though it's one solid piece next we hung up the drywall which this was a pain because we have so many outlets in the kitchen not on purpose it's just uh, we had to cover up some old ones and then add some new ones so this wall is going to be the kitchen wall the main one it's going to have the fridge the stove countertops on it i'm going to do some shelving and stuff which you will see later on in this video and things but we have quite a bit to do it's like you know me in the depths of my heart doing a little bit of a happy dance because all the drywall is pretty much done we mudded um first coat uh, actually that's yeah first coat and then we finished the ceiling um for the area that we created in the attic and then we also created a pantry underneath the stairwell so this is nice uh, it's not the position that we wanted it in originally um but it's just what had to happen <laughs> for it to all work out so lots of corners and everything but we got the first bit of mud on and now my cabinets came now this was hard i priced out different cabinets from pre-made to uh assembling them and i chose to to buy ones that i had to assemble myself and i went for ones that were super high quality so i went with the rta store and i could not be more pleased with the quality of these cabinets they are solid hardwood cabinets there's no mdf on these which is really nice so particle board or anything like that very pleased with these cabinets uh, they took me about, the first one took me about 45 minutes to put together because I had to get the flow of it and figure out how to just go through the instructions and everything. They're very simple. Depending on the lighting, it has a more of a taupey color, which I like, but it depends on the lighting. They're soft close drawer, and I really like them. Um, I went with a combination of drawers for the kitchen and also regular cabinets with a drawer and cabinet below, like a door. Um, these were cheaper than buying pre-done ones at the nice um, cabinet store. So I was really happy that I saved some money and believe me, I compared prices a ton to figure out which ones would be the better deal. I could have bought some from the local hardware store, but they weren't as good quality and I'm trying not to go super cheap on this. Not that I'm trying to overspend, but I also don't want my money to just be wasted, if that makes sense. I really want to put in nice items in this place so that it's good quality. Now you can put these cabinets together two ways. You can use the L brackets that they have here that already have pre-drilled holes and everything for them, um, or you can staple it together. I couldn't find my stapler, so, and I wasn't about to go buy it. I was like, I'm just gonna do this. So. Um, my contractor actually added a few more staples to certain cabinets that you'll see later on, but these were so easy to put together and the wood glue is what gives it the strength, but you can see the plywood here. They are so nice. The finish is incredible, super happy. And again, once I got the hang of it, it was about 30 minutes a cabinet. So not too bad.
Next up on the list was to paint the kitchen. I just went with a basic white. It is called Bit of Sugar and it was creamy but not too uh, creamy and not too bright of a stark white. I didn't want it to pull blue or orange or yellow or have any of those weird undertones and it did really well with the lighting that we have. We have a lot of lighting to still put in. We have can lights in, um, which is nice. And then I got to pick out some pendant lights for the kitchen. So very happy with this. Um, it's like the final stages and we've come a long way and you'll see a before picture here of what we were working with. It was just a hot mess. There wasn't much there. And so we uh, have to rearrange the windows. And so the fridge is going to be on the left counter oven countertop. And then the sink's going to go right underneath this window, which is what we added. I'm very happy with that. And then, um, this will be a peninsula because there's not enough space to actually have a dining room in here. So I'm actually currently in the living room part of this. So it's a very small area. We got the cabinets installed. I was going to do this, but my contractor was like, you know what, I'll take care of it because the countertops and I did not want to mess that up because the concrete floor was not level in certain areas. And that was really hard. Um, for me for cabinets and I didn't want to do all that work and then have something go wrong. So after we cleaned up, we laid down our waterproof barrier and added the life proof flooring. I got these from Home Depot. Really like them so far. The coloring is beautiful and they're nine inch wide planks, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to have a little bit more of a modern look. They go together really well. They just have to take your time when you're doing the cuts around certain areas and just make sure you vacuum, vacuum and vacuum. These are our floating floor. And so those that get installed after the cabinets. So it's just like a puzzle piece. Um, we ended up working on this. It took us about two days to do the floor just because it was kind of tedious and yeah, lots of angles and cuts.
tricky parts. We have to connect it to the bathroom part, but this cut here has to be that an inch and a half shorter. So the whole wall here in the hallway has to be an inch and a half shorter to start with. And then we can lay hopefully three whole boards and we don't have to do any cutting on that side. I'm hoping. But I definitely don't like using plastic on the bottom, but you need a vapor barrier. So it is what it is, but so excited. We're almost there. So here is how the kitchen is looking. We've come a long way. I love the drawers. They are so beautiful. The cabinets are fantastic. Um, and we have countertops, pendants to do, the finishes, shelving, lots more to do. To save money on cabinets, I decided not to do a corner cabinet. And that probably sounds funny, but um, I wanted to utilize the space enough. So a 36 inch drawer cabinet gave me way more room than a corner cabinet and I don't like corner cabinets they just they're so irritating to get things in and out of and it's such a small opening so um, we're going to utilize this space as something else she ordered the side panel for these but I really don't know why because I was planning on doing a different feature for the island piece here um, uh, some type of wood I'm thinking stained but I'm not positive yet so that is what I was thinking with that. And um, that way it's good. And then I will make this a door that just, you know, kind of pushes and it pops open. So it's still be storage, but it's not inhibiting this area here and getting into it. So I, we decided to do this a little bit more here because the window, to center the window, we had to do that over here. And so you can see the window there. So. Um, we just kept it even. I like symmetry. <laughs> so that was good. But um, this is why I had my contractor do this because uh, everything has to be within like a 16th of an inch with the countertops. And I did not want to mess up on that. Like I know I can align counters and stuff, but I didn't want something else to happen. So he did an amazing job. And then when they came to measure the countertops, they're like, this area is a little high. So he took his planer and just zip that down. I mean, you can see they didn't, we didn't zip it down that much, but that was like, they were concerned about that little hump. I was like, whoa. I did not to do a corner cabinet because um, of space wise, this would have doubled. And then it just, it didn't work for me. Everybody has their preference. You do you, that's what I say. But see, he beefed it up completely um, here to support the um, countertops. Um, I'm leaving these in. Um, because I haven't done the trim yet, but also because the countertops are really heavy and I don't want, um, if they're shifting things, I don't want my floor doing something weird. I know it sounds funny, but I was going to do drawers on each side, but drawers are much more expensive. So I opted to just do these. And then, um, I am actually going to add a pull out for there. So that will work. And then up here, I'm a little undecided of what I want to do exactly. I've changed my mind a little bit. So this area of the hood, um, we're going to actually build this out. And so this is gonna come all the way out this way. Um, not a ton, but it's going to add some dimension because there's no dimension right now. And what I should have done was probably swapped them, done the bigger one on this side and then did the smaller cabinet on this side, but instead of doing the full cabinet, I had always thought I'd do like a corner shelf here, but I've kind of changed my mind and I'm gonna get one that goes all the way down. I kind of keep going back and forth here, so it is what it is, but your spices over here, other items in here, and then this would be for like all the pots and pans and different things. You put some pots and pans down there, and then this would be bowls, baking sheets, all that type of stuff. I wanted to make sure I kept it big enough so that it would work and then more utensils and stuff. So I was trying to think of how it would function for a small space, but be very, utilize the small space the best I can at an affordable price. <laughs> um, and by cutting out the corner cabinet, it cut, saved us $1,000. Corner cabinets are ridiculous for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. And so, um, yes, it took out storage, but at the same time, I can still store stuff over there, just not in that one, and it saves space so I could get bigger cabinets. I didn't want a 12 inch cabinet, especially on the side. I wanted to be able to utilize the side next to the fridge. Um, because if it's too small, you just don't utilize it and then it's a waste of space, so. All right, let's see here. 
Looks pretty. <gasps> oh no! Woo! I panicked a little when I saw that. That's <laughs> not what I want. This is what I want. Oh, it's beautiful. Eek! <gasps> oh, it's so sleek and pretty. And I got the matching faucet head for it. Or, um, pump head. Well, it's in there somewhere. Let's see. I got it on deal at, um, okay, maybe we should just leave that together. I got it on deal on Costco, so, um, yeah. It was like a third of the cost from online, so pretty happy. Um, I ended up ordering the kitchen sink like this for it, which I thought was just so neat, especially since it's such a small space. I wanted to maximize like the ability of it. Order different supplies for it, which is really neat. So yeah, I'm excited. There was two windows here originally, but they were mismatched. There was a four foot and a three foot. It was very odd looking. So we took out the four foot one um, and replaced it. And now I have two three foot windows, um, which is really nice. And so it will look really good. You can see the difference here. I'm so happy with the first part of this kitchen makeover. The second part, we have a lot to do and we'll be decorating it. So stay tuned for that. I will have a new decorating video for you on Wednesday and I'll see you then.